This is Twit. One of the uh, kind of, if there are problems with Catalina, one of the widespread problems seems to be freezes on uh, installation on various screens. And I'm guessing that the freezes on the early screens are the fact that APFS is doing this. It's really changing your file structure under the hood in a very dramatic I way. So, I, you know, I'm seeing a lot of reports on Reddit and other places of people stuck at various uh, screens. Mm, I, mine, I got, mine was stuck on uh, updating your Mac, sys, your Mac settings. Exactly. But I just, yeah. I turned off my Mac and turned it back on again and it, and it was fine. The whole thing mm. loaded fine. Okay, so that's know, what people are doing. It. <laughs> if it's stuck yeah. for hours, you have to. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed I got stuck on the informational screen about screen time or something. And mm -hmm. I, I was really like, I'm not going to touch this. And eventually it continued on. It was, there was a continue button, but it wasn't enabled for a long time. And I thought, well, this doesn't yeah. seem right. So there's I, a, just, I guess this is a word of warning to everybody. There's a lot of stuff going on under the hood here. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is definitely one where you not you should not do this upgrade until it's the weekend or some yeah. day where you have a full day or two days where you don't have anything you need this machine to do for you. And also, it's always good advice to back up your system beforehand, but it's doubly always. important this time. Uh, but it's chiefly because it will. If you have the weekend off, it will give you the, sort of the courage to say, okay, I know this This seems to have frozen up right now, but I'm not going to fear the worst. I'm simply going to walk away, get some waffles, do have some fun, enjoy the fall foliage in New England uh, mm -hmm. before I come back and decide that it's frozen. And if it has frozen, if you really, if it really has been all night and no progress has been made, if you have that backup, you know that the worst thing that can happen is that you have to start the upgrade all over again. Yeah. So this is, yeah, and again, this is, there, there, there's, 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 this advice where you say now always leave at least three hours before your flight for the airport that everybody ignores <laughs> but this is not this is not one of those things that you can ignore this time you really absolutely have to back up your system beforehand always yeah that's that's the one thing that i can't stress enough when i'm when i'm suggesting to people things that they can do to fix something wrong with their computer is you you absolutely should have at least a local backup just in case something goes wrong you can go back it's it's your it's your safety net for if something goes wrong with your computer. So definitely, no matter what, if you're listening at all, tell your family, tell your friends, <laughs> at least back it up locally one time before you make any changes to your computer. Even if you don't want to have a backup in pl system in place, which I think is a little bit ridiculous, I'm just going to say everybody should always be backing up. But even if you just want to make one big change to your computer, back it up first, plug in that hard drive, set up a time machine, do a quick black backup, then make these big changes to your computer just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, should, should I, I sh we should we point out that I just did a search on Amazon and a 500 gigabyte hard, USB 3 hard drive will set you back from uh, $50 to $90. Yeah, it's true. just not, yeah. it is such an easy thing to say this. I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to worry about using this for any other stores. This is just going to be a safe place just to back up my files. When I'm not backing it up, I will unplug it and put it in a drawer and then remember to back up the next time. It's so easy now. So you can, if you want to see this in action, if you open the disk utility, you can see that there are now two volumes. There's a read-only systems uh, a volume, and then there's a, the, what, what is basically your data volume. You'll also notice, if you're a person like me who has a habit of going into the system folder, <laughs> bad <laughs> idea, uh, but I like to, you know, look through it, uh, you won't see much in your system folder anymore because it's not really your system folder. It's just a data folder named system. And I think that's where the relocated items were things that used to live in a system folder but can't live in the new read-only APFS volume would be my guess.